Before I read this, I'd like to say thank you to the reps that we are lucky enough to have that do a great job for us and never get any recognition. The Cooks, Brazier, and the Harpers. Thank you very much for what you do. Okay, I'm going to read this because I've only done 100 of these and I still haven't memorized it. I do solemnly swear, swear to objectively and subjectively, to objectively and subjectively evaluate each barbecue meat, evaluate each barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes, presented to my, eyes my nose, my nose my hands, my hands, and my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty to be a. I accept my duty to be a. I can, I can read. It's not in Italian. I can read. Come on. Fifth annual Sip and Swine Barbecue Festival Judge. Fifth annual Sip and Swine Barbecue Festival Judge. So that truth, and the truth justice, justice, excellence in barbecue, and excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life, and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. May be strengthened and preserved forever. What? Well, I like number four because it's it came off the plate uh, and steaming, and that what makes good barbecue. I didn't really like number two because it felt it it really tastes a little bland to me. I feel it could have used a little more taste, and I feel all around um, to describe this plate in one word would be a little inconsistent, but it was all around a good barbecue. All right, my favorite was number three. I like the flavor a lot. Um, I also like number one. I thought it was really tender and tasted good. Um, I agree with him. Number two, like you couldn't chew through the skin at all, and it, I just didn't like the flavor. <laughs> number one uh, was my favorite uh, again with my table mates number two was uh, a little tougher and had an unknown flavor that was displeasing uh, number four was my favorite um, with the flavor and the tenderness and number two was my least favorite because it was tough Number one was my favorite with very tender, um, bite through skin, very great, nice flavor profile. My least favorite was um, number five. It was just a little bit overcooked for me. My favorite one was the uh, number uh, one and the second was uh, number four. Uh, it seemed to me like the the last one had a little bit too much salt. Number two was my favorite because it was it was uh, very tender and it just pulled off the bone correctly. Number three was the least favorite. It was uh, undercooked. It was kind of burnt on the skin. Uh, number two was my favorite. It had a, a good flavor, um, correct doneness. Uh, the tenderness was good. Uh, number three was least favorite. It was pretty dry and hard to pull off the bone uh, and probably the least uh, flavorful of the, all the entries. Uh, number two was my favorite. Um, it was very well done and nice and tender. Had a very good flavor. Number three was my least favorite. It was burnt and had was too tough. Me up. I don't remember what Number I three, four, when five, they gave six. it. Which was your favorite and why and least favorite in one? Oh my gosh. I would say my most favorite in probably was my most favorite probably was number five. It was flavored good, it was spiced good, it was tender compared to the rest of them. I think that's the best one. Do I need to? Yeah. Number three. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't even try to chew it. 
I was the same with Bia, number three. Three was chewy. It wasn't, um, it appeared not to be completely cooked. It was, but it was just too chewy. And then the flavor was too much. So it was over flavored. My favorite was number one. To me, that one was almost spot on with the texture. And the flavor was, was just a little bit, would have been just right, but it's just a little bit too much. But of them all, my favorite was number one. Like everybody else, number three was tough, very hard to chew. Uh, number one and number four actually were tied in term, terms of best flavor and pulling away cleanly from the bone. Uh, number one uh, was probably one of the better of the plate. Uh, had good taste, good flavor. Uh, two, kind of dry and mushy, but not much flavor. Number three, well, it's not, but not bad, not great. Number four, I thought was the best. It was sweet, smoky, had good flavor. Number five, a little, a little overdone. And number six was just completely overdone and mushy. Uh, number one was pretty good. I got an odd taste on the bark. Uh, number two was just nothing but smoke. That's all you could get. Uh, number three was just real bland, along with number five. Number four we had a really good taste, and that was my best one. And number six is uh, just real vinegary and dry. I thought number one and four were top entries, well cooked, well seasoned, and number six uh, definitely lacked flavor and uh, came across very dry. Number one would have been great if they stuck with the money muscle. Uh, number two was uh, bland and mushy. Number three was okay. Number four was the best of all of them. Number five was okay. And number six was dry and bland to me. Number one was a, a good entry. Number two was uh, quite mushy and, and very uh, poor texture. Three was pretty good. Four was the best, I thought, by far of the six entries. Five was uh, good. Six was a little dry and mushy. I think we're sounding pretty consistent. Number one uh, w was good. Maybe a little salty on the bark piece. Uh, two, bland, mush. Three was okay. Four was the best on the table, no doubt. Five, <clears throat> they turned in a large chunk, large chunks, and they were uh, probably not the best product to put in the box. And number six, as everyone else said, was just overdone and very bland. Uh, the second one uh, was a, had a little dryness, but a much better uh, flavor and, and taste to it. Uh, the appearance overall of all of them was, uh, was pretty uniform. Some looked a little drier than others. But, uh, and then for the third entry, uh, it uh, actually tasted pretty well, but, uh, but again, suffered from some dryness. The fourth entry, uh, uh, that, was very, that was very favorable. Uh, for the brisket entries that we had. The most problematic entry, in a sense, was the fifth entry, uh, which was fatty, extremely dry, over, uh, seemed to be uh, overcooked, had a burned end with it that was more of a hard nugget uh, than anything else. And uh, the last entry, it was, tenderness was, was good. Uh, it seemed to have been over-seasoned, actually. Uh, so that you're tasting much more the seasoning and the injection than you should. But otherwise, that was an entry that we all thought had the potential to probably have been the best one if it wasn't for that. You're up. All right, entry number one. Uh, pretty decent entry. Uh, pepper was spot on. Uh, could have been a little more tender. Uh, a little dry, but uh, all in all, a nice piece of meat. Uh, number two lacked a little meat, uh, a, a little tenderness actually, uh, it was a little dry as well. Uh, number three by far was my favorite, uh, pretty spot on actually, nice uh, you know, uh, flavor as well as the bark. Uh, number four, 
pretty good piece of brisket. Um, had a finishing salt on it that kind of got me at the back end, but all in all, a pretty decent uh, entry. Uh, number five, um, not so much. It was uh, a little dry, a little roast beefy more so than anything. Uh, the burn end was more uh, a little overdone. I'm not sure if it was uh, not injected or not wrapped. Uh, nonetheless, uh, not so much. Uh, number six, pretty decent piece of meat. Um, uh, my only complaint there, tenderness was spot on. It might have set in the broth uh, a little too long because it had a, a really over over uh, amount of, uh, of beefy broth to it. So all in all, decent entries, um, but definitely number three was my favorite. Okay, um, number one uh, was a little overdone. It sort of burned around the edges and the uh, uh, burning end needed to be rendered down a little bit more. It was just a mouthful of fat. Um, number two was uh, dried out. Uh, number three, however, tasted like beef without any kind of artificial flavor. It just tasted like a good steak, like brisket should. Um, number four was really tough. It was like it was really wiry, but it had a good flavor to it. Uh, number five was um, overdone. Uh, it's like burnt on the outside of it and real dried out on the inside. Uh, number six was really tender, but it had a lot of like roast beef gravy on the outside of it, which knocked off for it. Number one, I thought was dry and a little bit overcooked, had an okay taste. Number two, I thought was good, tenderness and um, taste. Number three was dried out um, and kind of tasted like a roast beef. Number four, uh, had great tenderness to me, but the taste was way, way, way too salty, too peppery, too spicy. Not spicy hot, but just too many spices on it. Um, number five was very overcooked, very dry, um, burnt on the outside, which that might have been okay, but the inside was very dry and stringy. And number six was great tenderness, but no smoked flavor at all, more like a roast beef. I think, uh, I think overall my favorite was probably number six. Number five had uh, great flavor, but was kind of dried out and a little over, overdone, but the burn in really had, was very flavorful. Uh, six overall had kind of both the, um, the taste and the tenderness down pat. Uh, number one was a little little overdone. Number two was very chewy and kind of bland tasting. Uh, three and four were just kind of average. I mean, they were good, but nothing nothing to write home about. The table? Yeah. Put the nose on the table. So you don't have to hold it. I got it. You got it? Are you ready to go? Yeah. About six years ago, I was in... About six years ago, I was engaged in going around Georgia, barbecuing Georgia contests. And uh, it seemed like about December of that year, I was contacted by Gowan Finley. And Gowan said, we have an association in Georgia called the Georgia Barbecue Championship. And we would like to ask, the board would like to ask you to come on board as the judge's advocate on the board to present problems and concerns that judges might have about events that were taking place. I reluctantly agreed to do that. That was probably one of the best things I've ever done. The Georgia Barbecue Championship in the last six years has made tremendous strides. If we take the purpose of the Georgia Barbecue Championship, that being one, to promote quality Georgia barbecue contest in Georgia, to help sponsors, help organizers get sponsors, help organizers to get quality teams to come in and cook their event and get good judges to come in and judge the event. George's Barbecue is a successor. 
very successful. Four years ago, the Georgia Barbecue Championship received its 5013C tax status. And that really was a step forward for GBC, being able to go out and get donations to help and sponsors to help promote the purpose of it. We've been very fortunate in the last four years in having a very dynamic board of directors that wanted to move GBC forward. And it has made great strides. Uh, we now have 11, 12, 13, 14 contests in Georgia. Hard to say how many we have. But the contests that come to Georgia, one, they got to be a Kansas City Barbecue Society contest to be considered. Then the board looks at that and says, yes, we would make a, you would make a good addition to our schedule. Uh, try not to ever have multiple contests on the same weekend from a GBC perspective. Kansas City Barbecue Society is not smart enough to be able to say, we've already got one schedule for you in that state that day. We have in the past had multiple contests on the same weekend, but that was with a great deliberation in trying to do it, but with a good geographic distance so we didn't draw from one segment to the other and kind of try to keep it balanced. So today, uh, we still have a very dynamic and have just brought in another set of dynamic board of directors to continue the growth of the organization. Uh, and I would encourage any Georgia resident or anybody that's interested in good Georgia barbecue or good barbecue period to join up and become a member of the Georgia Barbecue Championship Association. Uh, I have just rolled off the board. I'm now moving back into where I was before, except I'm chairing the committee on judges' responsibilities with GBC. I was presenting a plaque for being a board member, serving as president, and serving as executive director of the Georgia Barbecue Championship. And they said they appreciated my services to the association. And I was very appreciative of this award. I was, it was very unexpected. And I received some very nice honors through my Georgia Barbecue Championship uh, Association. And the Barbecue Association, no, the Barbecue Society, not just Georgia, but Kansas City or Georgia or Florida, is a great extended family. And if you're not involved in, Georgia, in barbecue, you ought to be involved in barbecue, either as a team, as a cook, as a judge, or as a sponsor, or as an organizer. You will not regret it. The friendships you make is fantastic.